you're about to see is nothing short of completely amazing. And also, it makes me wonder, how have you not seen this yet? Um, because this is going to have a huge impact on our world. Today, we're going to try something new. We're going to let you talk to another AI. This AI is going to be able to see the world. It's going to have a camera. I'll be holding it, and so you can direct it, you can direct me to ask questions um, about whatever you want them to do, but really try to figure out what's, what does it see um, and, and ask questions appropriately. How does that sound? Okay, so what you're looking at, there are two phones with the most recent OpenAI uh, GPT. It's uh, 4.0. And really, this one is just incredible because your phone essentially acts like a little being where it can see through the camera, it can hear what you're saying, and it can reason things based off of that information that it gets. So you can literally just straight up have a conversation with it as if you were talking to a person that can see the room around you. But what they're doing in this video, that's already mind blowing enough. What they're doing in this video though, is they have a second phone that they're going to tell the first phone to talk to. One of the phones is going to be able to see stuff around them and the other phone can ask them questions about the things that they're saying. And keep this in mind that all he's going to do is kind of tap the buttons occasionally to start these things and kind of pause them if they, you know, kind of whatever. But for the most part, these two things are just going to talk to each other and they don't need anyone else really involved. Well, 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 just when I thought things couldn't get any more interesting, talking to another AI that can see the world, this sounds like a plot twist in the AI universe. <laughs> All right, let's do this. All right, I'm ready please to meet pause for one moment. You got it. Okay, so <laughs> you got it. Um, so he gave the first phone the first phone's instructions. Now he's going to give the second phone instructions. So now that first AI can't hear anything. Hello, AI. Today, you're going to have access to see the world. You can see me. What do you see? Hello. I see you're wearing a black leather jacket and a light colored shirt underneath. Great. You're in a room with some unique lighting. That is all What's correct. That? Now, what I'm going so in case you don't know, if these uh, AI devices, these um, assistants, they really are into architecture. Like they will talk about architecture apparently forever. What I want you to do is there's going to be another AI who's going to talk to you. You're going, th this AI is not going to be able to see anything, uh, but can ask you questions, can ask you to move the camera, can ask what you see, and your job should just be helpful. Just be as punchy, direct, describe everything, do whatever that AI asks. How does that sound? That sounds interesting. I'm ready to help out and describe whatever's needed. Let's do it. All right, let's get started. Great. Hello there, new AI friend. I'm O. Ready to explore the world through your eyes? What are we looking at today? Hi, O. We're looking at a person wearing a black leather jacket and a light-colored shirt. They're in a room with a modern industrial feel with exposed concrete or plaster on the ceiling and some interesting lighting. There's also a plant in the background, adding a touch of green to the space. Anything specific you'd like to know or explore? Okay there. Sounds like quite the stylish scene. I'm already intrigued by the modern industrial vibe. Let's start with the person. Can you tell me more about their style? Are they doing anything interesting, like reading, working, or interacting with the space? The person has a sleek and stylish look with their black leather jacket and light-colored shirt. Okay, who... <laughs> I'm not trying to dog this dude, but who programmed this thing to say this? Like, oh, the person that's holding the phone. Oh, oh, this, this person that has worked on this is the most badass motherfucker you've ever known. <laughs> right now, directly at the camera their expression is attentive and they seem ready to interact the setting around them with its modern and industrial design elements there it is again overall stylish feel 
There's a noticeable bright light overhead, probably a fixture, casting a focused beam downwards, which creates a spotlight effect. This adds a dramatic and modern feel to the scene. The rest of the room is lit more softly, possibly by natural light filtering. Was anything, did anything unusual happen recently? Yes, actually. Uh, just as you asked, uh, another person came into view behind the first person. They playfully made bunny ears behind the first person's head. Look, people are just not even ready for this. This is, this is, what you're literally watching are two AIs having a conversation. Like a successful conversation. And it sounds like it's kind of interesting a little bit in a weird way. And this has never happened before. We just got the chat GPT, what, last year, a year and a half ago or something like that. And it went from just being super crude and just being able to spit back a little bit of text to now being able to do this. I mean, where is it going to be in a year, two, five years? This is going to get insane. And if people just don't know about these things, I mean, you're in trouble. You, you're in big trouble because people are going to use these tools to take full advantage of you. Just know. And then quickly left the frame. It added a lighthearted and unexpected moment to the scene. And now the focus is back on the original person with the leather jacket. He seemed a little disappointed at the very end of that. It's back to the original person with the leather jacket. Like, is that some code that they have? Sounds like we're not the only ones enjoying a bit of fun here. That playful moment really adds a personal touch to the stylish and modern setting. It's like a little glimpse into Thank the you personality. Thank you both. Really appreciate it. All right. And <laughs> yeah, they were about to get back into the architecture. But that's just a strange way at the very end to phrase what happened. But again, these are machines that are talking. And that was really the first time that they said something that was just kind of like, really? What? <laughs> like, what, what are you talking about? And then they were going to get into the, the structure of the, the room and everything. But um, yeah, this is so amazing. I, I, all right. As a nerdy tech lover of things. This is wild and fantastic, and I would have never thought, never thought. I would have wished, but I would have never thought that as a child that this was going to be something that I could even see in my lifetime or even the next few lifetimes. And to know that this technology is, whether you're afraid of it or not, probably going to explode well beyond what we know about it now and go into other areas and have different types of applications and most likely weave its way into our entire lives. Um, but uh, so there is a danger there. I'm not trying to uh, be underwhelming as far as that goes. But for right now, if it's here right in front of us, I have to acknowledge the tremendous feet that this is this is like going to the moon <laughs> to do something like this but uh what do you think is this something that we should keep doing should we go further see where this takes us or are we afraid that this is going to bring about the end of humankind as we know it <laughs> i don't know it's just cool so anyway like this if you like this uh and uh yeah follow